gonna build a snowman. It doesn't have to be a snowman. Oh, wait, Anna. Okay, bye. Hello, everyone. Today is um, quite clearly um, a Disney haul video. We spent far too much money in Disney and I thought I would share with you all of our purchases. Let's start off doing sections and I'm going to do the first one as clothing. Um, I only got two items, but like I think that's all we got between us three actually. But the first pet thing is um, Mickey Mouse flip flops. These were sort of a, my feet are killing me, I can no longer wear my converse let's go buy something to keep my feet comfortable so that is what I did I had to spend I think they were 15 euros on um, flip flops and my mum did exactly the same because we just couldn't cope anymore our feet were just dead so yeah that was sort of a my feet had purchase not a I really want these sort of purchase um, so a suggestion is I'd really make sure you wear comfortable shoes and actually converse in hot weather your feet just swell when it's too hot Item number two is a coat. I actually bought a coat. I didn't. I fell in love with it um, on the second or third day, and I kept thinking about it. And I just went past the shop. I try it on, and be like, oh, this is nice, because I really wanted to throw my yellow one in the bin because my yellow one's seen better days. Um, so I'm going to insert a video here. wearing the coat I just want to sort of show you what it looks like on because I sometimes find if you show an item of clothing no one really knows what, it's, what it looks like on um, but yeah no I'd absolutely love the coat it's so warm it's got like a fleece in liner as well so it's warm waterproof and it's going to be absolutely wonderful in the winter the next section I'm going to do is Lucas's Christmas presents which sounds absolutely crazy but we spent so much money and there's so much stuff we wanted to buy him out of the, out there. Um, and we just couldn't justify just handing it all over to him now. When we've got Christmas, which is only like three or four months away now, is it? August, September, October, November, December. Four months away, yeah. So, we bought him a few Christmas presents. The first one was actually our first purchase. And we went into the Christmas shop in Disney. And he grabbed it and just completely fell in love with it. He went to grab it, so when I picked it up and showed him, he put his arms on like this, and then just grabbed it and just hugged it, like, and just, like that. It was just so cute. He was proper happy. Christmas Olaf, look at him. He's so cute. Um, perfect huggable size to give him warm hugs. Um, so yeah, he was our first purchase of the whole holiday. I think he was 20 euros, but um, Lucas had him for about five ten minutes and then decided that throwing him on the floor and saying uh oh was funnier than giving him a hug so we put him in the pram pocket and he didn't come out again and now he's going to go away for christmas he hasn't got a label on but that's because we pull the labels off for him anyway but yeah he's very cute we quite like him um the next item is this keeping on the olaf theme um he's really cool he sort of reminds me of mr potato head but in olaf um and He's got like, you can take his buttons off, you can change his arms around, he's got lots of, he's got a couple of arms. He's got like a summer cocktail, ukulele, sunglasses, he's got his little hat, change his face to make him look really happy and he's got some winter boots as well. So he's going to go around for Christmas, he is, does suggest three years up or something. Um, so that's why we're going to wrap him up for Christmas because Lucas would be a year and a half but I think they give a lot of toys three years plus warnings just for safe precautions but I can't nothing small enough for Lucas to really choke on and by Christmas I think he'll be over the swallowing trying to swallow things he shouldn't do and if we do find he's too small for him we just we just keep Olaf and take away the buttons and stuff and just leave like the big the big bits of Olaf but yeah he was if you spent 20 euros he was like half price at 12.99 or something. So 
so I couldn't resist it. But he's just so cute. He's got such a cute little face. We love Olaf. Lucas loves Olaf. And the third and final Christmas present is a Doc McStuffins Duplo set. This is just two to five. Um, obviously, Lucas have been coming up to one and a half at Christmas. So, it's only slightly under. And to be honest with you, he loves Duplo anyway. He's got, he got another Duplo set when we're out there. And he just, he plays, he got a Duplo set for his birthday. So, I don't really think, it's once again, it's that we'll have to tell you a certain age just because it's a choking hazard but if you're watching him he should be fine but no he loves Doc McStuffins so that was p absolutely perfect the other toy Lucas got was this I need to try and hold it the right way now without breaking it so we, had to, we got rid of the box while we were out there because it was bringing it home in, ha in suitcases but he got this and it's a happy birthday mini Duplo Mickey Mouse train. I don't know if I can, let me get Mickey out. And there's Mickey. And obviously Minnie's in her little pink dress. It's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Duplo set. But he's allowed that now. Because that was the Euros that my dad gave him to buy. But it's just, it's so sweet. And it's just... He, he's at a moment he's at the stage he just pulls it apart and just throws everything but it is really cool and in time he'll find it very fun to play with I'm going to go on to photos and photo frames now um, I am obsessed with anything photo, like photo related I really want to do like a photo frame wall um, and I just like to have pictures framed. I just think it's nice and just having it as your Facebook profile picture or something. So the first one we got, we actually paid for um, once we got to meet our princess and princess pavilion. So it's just a cardboard frame um, and you get the photo. And that cost us, I think that was nine euros because we got a special deal on it because we had bought a photo pass. So I got that because I thought that was really, really lovely. Um, and it's nice, it goes sits on a windowsill down. The next item is this one, and it's... We, I was trying to put the photo in earlier, so there's nothing actually in there at the moment. But it's from the Disney parks, and on one side it's got Sleeping Beauty's Castle, on the other side it's got Cinderella's. And it's got all the Disney characters around it, it's like a box frame. So it's going to be really sweet to be able to put a photo of us with Mickey Mouse in it. and. That's kind of probably going to go up in the probably up in the bedroom somewhere, probably up on like this wall over here, um, and that'd be the start of my frame wall. Um, the next item we got this is to go on my desk actually, and it's going to be have a picture of me and Brad in it. So I haven't actually got it done yet, but it's Mickey and Minnie kissing, and I'm gonna I've got there's a picture of us um, looking at each other in front of the castle, so I'm gonna frame that and put that on my desk, and I think that'd be really nice. And a third and final um, photograph thing is this. It's a photo album. And I just thought getting a photo album would be nice. And it just says Disneyland Paris there on the front. And up here is Mickey Mouse in front of the Eiffel Tower. And it's all like embossed. And it's metal. But it just I thought some of them looked a bit pretty tacky. And I didn't want tacky. I wanted classic. And that's what this screened out to me. A nice leather... It was only like 10 euros more expensive than the tacky ones as well. So for a nice leather and metalled photo album, I didn't think that was badly priced. And I think you can fit 200 photos in it or something, which is roughly what we've got um, of us guys all together. So there's some I haven't put online. And there'd be some of like us of our families. And... Brad bought this while we were away as well. It's for him. And it goes on his part of the bookshelf because he's got lots of stuff on his on one shelf of the bookshelf. And we kept it. It's Mickey Mouse on a bike. And we kept the time as the French time. We, to be fair, we don't actually know how to change the time. But we thought it'd be nice because it's such a small clock. And we have so many clocks downstairs anyway that there's actually no reason to change the time. And I just think it adds to sort of like a nice French feel. It reminds you of what, the fact that you bought it in Paris. The next thing we got was these cups. Both of these are the refillable 
one so if you bought like a slushie you can get it you pay slightly extra get it in this cup and you can go refill the cup same with this so you can buy your cu cup of tea or coffee in this cup and then refill it refill it for a, like a lower amount um and you can always have it in a nice cup so we got both of those so me and brad have got one of these each and lucas has got one of these for himself so which he absolutely loves sitting because it, it balances really well on the floor and he just pulls the straw and he finds it really really funny and finally we've come to the most exciting part and it's all the teddies we probably bought far too many teddies but oh my god they're amazing we got some that are like like new some that are only exclusive to disney parks and some that i've never seen before um so i'm just gonna show you them all now Um, head over to my second channel I'll leave the link below um, and you will see the um, day one day two and day three Disney vlogs um, and head over to my blog if you want and you can see some of the photos um, I hope you enjoyed watching this I hope I've inspired you to go Disney crazy and I will see you in about a week thank you bye